Is your mouth on fire, bro? <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Hey Siri, are mermaids real? Here's an answer from reference.com. Mermaids are not real. There is no conclusive scientific evidence that proves their existence in real life. I don't think she's telling you the truth. That really hurts my feelings. Mermaids are real. What's up family? We finally made it to the hotel. Uh, we checked in like right after three and we were exhausted from waking up at four. So we like, uh, Cody got a shower. I laid down and I fell asleep. It's 4.54 right now. So I'm about to go get a shower now and then get ready. And then we're gonna go out and find some dinner somewhere um, in a little bit. Do some more exploring, maybe go putt putt. I don't know, uh, the night, could could take us anywhere so but uh we've arrived in our room it's uh it's not the best place i've ever stayed what's up cody what's up? but uh it's definitely uh not the worst place i've ever stayed and for right at a hundred dollars a night the week of spring break in Sevierville pigeon forge i think it was a pretty good deal um if i were going somewhere with my family maybe we would have like you know spent a little bit of extra money and gone somewhere nicer but you know just me it's me and the bro me, yeah, little, yeah just a little old me we don't go out yeah we, we, uh, and, and be all fancy with cody around right exactly I and mean, we figured we're gonna be out doing so much fun stuff <laughs> he's being sarcastic <laughs> but we're gonna be out doing so much fun stuff we're not gonna really be here we're just using it for sleep tonight and sleep tomorrow night so uh, $200 total for two night uh, long weekend trip, I think is a pretty good deal. But um, yeah, balling on a budget. Always remember that. I'm gonna go get ready and then we're gonna go to dinner. So uh, figure out exactly where we're going and everything and then uh, we'll, we'll let you know. What's up guys? So we're officially showered and ready. Cody's tired, he didn't get a nap. No. I got a nap. Uh, Oh, coffee. Hawaiian shirt or no Hawaiian shirt for dinner? I don't know. But, uh... Well, I have the more now. We wearing the more not. Sure, not Hawaiian. Hawaiian shirt. Button down. Another button down. With blue jeans. Let's go to Hawaiian. We're going Hawaiian! Actually, I'm just going Batman. I'm going to be Batman. Guys, we're heading into the unknown. So stay tuned. Yeah. So we made it to our destination for dinner. It was Blue Moose Burgers and Wings, and we were planning on going here from like the start. We've been wanting some burgers and wings from this place, fried pickles. Since we since we planned this trip, 
However, it's an hour and a half wait, hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours. There were 24 parties in front of us, and we thought that all these parties of like 14 and 10 and all that stuff was like reasonable for like an hour, hour and a half wait. Um, it's just me and Cody, so we were like two. We thought maybe they'd sit us at the bar, sit us at like a high top somewhere, put us in the corner, you know, just give us a seat. And they were like, uh, hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. And we were like, okay, so we're on the list, but we're going to sit here for about 15 more minutes and try to find out if there's anything else, maybe closer to Sevierville, because we are in Pigeon Forge. And um, this is where all the action is going on right now. So there's tons and tons of people right here. So maybe if we can find something closer to Sevierville that maybe when all the traffic tapers off down there, Possibly we can find something where we can get some food within the hour because um, we haven't eaten since What was it 830 this morning? We haven't eaten since 830 this morning, and we're starting to get hungry. It is what time is it? 620 it's 620 now, so we're getting a little bit of we're getting a little bit hungry So we're gonna find somewhere to eat and I will update you Hopefully next time you see me we'll be sitting at a table about to get some food. So uh if not, I will definitely keep you posted. But uh, on to do some research. Monster Mash Burgers is what we decided on. Let's try it out. Whoa, what's up, man? Awesome. Thanks, dude. Awesome. All right, so uh, Monster Mash didn't pan out for us. Uh, we walked in and there were tons of people sitting around waiting for I guess an hour, hour and a half wait. And uh, they, uh, I don't really know. It's a little past seven now, so it's prime dinner time. And we are without a place to eat because that place didn't even have people at the hostess or the host stand like serving people. So we have no idea what's going on. But we're trying to find something to eat. So I'll keep you posted. Maybe we'll just skip dinner. Go have a party. I don't know. We'll find something, I'm sure. Some peanuts. Peanut. <gasps> Peanut M and M's. That's exactly what I was thinking. How do you feel about our uh, dinner escapades? Well, I wasn't happy, but now I'm ecstatic. <laughs> we finally found a place to sit. Ooh, that's spicy. give it honestly uh, about an 8, 9 out of 10. Uh, 8.5. This place gets a solid 9 out of 10 in my book. Fast service, amazing food. We walked in, only place that would seat us with instantly. It's brand new. If you live in or around the Sevierville, Tennessee area, come to El Machete because it is amazing. Hands down, best Mexican I've had in a long time. All right, everybody. So we ended up at a place called El Machete, which translate to which, which translates to the Machete. Um, it's a Mexican restaurant right over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we we drove 32 minutes from the first stop that we had. Oh God searching f everywhere we went to another place called monster mash burgers didn't pan out there we were gonna we we'd given up all hope we had gone to popeyes and you know we can get that anywhere we're on vacation we wanted something good to eat popeyes was, was wrapped around 
Popeyes was wrapped around. So <laughs> we drove all the way down past downtown Sevierville, past everything that we that we passed coming to Sevierville, Tennessee, and like all hope was lost. I said, dude, pick something or turn around. He turned around, all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see El Machete. And I'm like, dude, El Machete's right there. Mexican restaurant doesn't look packed. I half expected him to just keep driving and be like, no, we're just gonna try Burger King up here or something. Cause like, that's how we were. We, we had searched for two hours for dinner. Thought we were gonna get Burger King. He whips it into the turning lane, pulls a Yui. We come straight here, we get in. Within five minutes, or within the first three minutes, we have a table, we have our drinks. Within the first 10 minutes, we have our food, guys. This place is amazing. A brand new place called El Machete, Sevierville, Tennessee. Okay. If you live in, yeah, it's right there. If you live in or around this area, please go check them out because they are totally worth it. Um, the price point on the food was amazing. The food itself was delicious. Service. Service was great. I mean, we had a guy named Victor. Shout out, Victor. If you ever watch this, if you ever see this, buddy, thank you so much. You uh, you, you served us well. So, uh, guys, I told you it would all work out. We just had to believe. We had to have a little bit of faith, and we had to search for ourselves a little bit and do our part. Found something amazing. You know, we can have Mexican everywhere and anywhere, basically. So it wasn't something unique to the area, but this place was super good. The best Mexican food I've had in a very long time. Um, thank you so much, El Machete. Heading back to the hotel, guys. What's up, guys? We made it back to the hotel. Um, stopped at a gas station, got some gas and stuff, and uh, back again, Pocky, Haunted Ghost Pepper, Tortilla Chips. They're not going to be as hot as obviously the Pocky One Chip Challenge, however, it says that these are 100% real ingredients, even more ghost pepper, the heat is real, an insane amount of ghost pepper, warning it's freaking hot, and you can see right here on the meter, freaking hot pocky we're bringing the heat and it hurts so good do you dare do we dare i'm gonna eat one i'm gonna eat one right now do you dare try the ghost pepper tortilla chip they do all right well we got it opened up about to get into this i'm just gonna grab one like this all right, I got one, bro. It's kind of, it's not a complete whole one. Go out the side of that one. I just take the tail goes. No, don't do that. Don't do that? Uh-uh. Here. I'll good. save your flutter. Okay. Uh, All right. Guys, ghost pepper, pocky chip. It's supposed to be really freaking hot. Dang it, let's go. Quick burn. Alright. Remember last time we did this? It was with the Pocky One Chip Challenge and it burned real bad. Woo! I'm getting a lip burn and a tongue burn already. It's all in my mouth. It was starting to go back, further back by tongue, that my throat. Your cheeks just <coughs> automatically turned to red, bro. <laughs> They're always red. Oh my gosh. This is ghost pepper. Buta jalokia. Or the but jalokia is the proper name for a ghost pepper. <sighs> Look at my glasses. Already fogging up. <laughs> That's how you know when it's hot. Glasses fog up, Cody's cheeks turn red. Oh my goodness. It's hot, guys. It's not as hot as the one chip. Nowhere near it. But it's hot. No, I can still feel my face. <laughs> Woo! 
Pocky never disappoints. They are always what they say they will be. Yeah, you go ahead. How you feeling about that choice? It's, it's, it's starting to. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh, that was the that was the best part. Choppers ain't coming this time. We don't have any ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mine's starting to taper off. His is probably gonna set on pretty hard here in a second. He ate two. Going in for a third. Go ahead, just eat that whole bag. See how see how well tomorrow goes for you. Much love. See you. See you next time. You feeling hot? <laughs> feeling spicy, bro? That one was the mistake, Chip. That one was a mistake. <laughs> Your mouth on fire, bro.